Jai Hind everyone, welcome again to the Petrotic IS. Uh, in this session, we will study the news, news analysis, and uh, yes, also analyze the editorial. But today, it is Sunday, it is not editorial, it is the frequently asked question that is very uh, important, relevant for the UPSC. So, the major area that we are going to cover today is the this first news is with respect to the US strike with the in the Iraq and Syria. So, we see that what is the geographical location where this strike has uh, taken place. Uh, this is on the Kaim. Kaim, it is in the Iraq. So, we will locate. The other thing is that this tussle is going on. So, it could be relevant for the IR, but yeah, this is just relevant for the prelims, not for the mains. Okay. Kalyadi, uh, Kalyadi Pattu. This is the martial art and it is associated with the Kerala. So, we will see that about the basic about that. Okay. So, GS paper 1, art and culture. Then, on the uh, this frequently asked question, on that page, we have explanation of this. Why is the fiscal consolidation is so important? So, a broader perspective of the fiscal deficit, national debt, all we will study. This will be under the GS paper three economy. And uh, after that, there is the very controversial issue that is going on this mask and the temple tussle that has entered into the Kasi and the Mathura. So, we will uh, study under the, uh, this uh, paper, uh, GS paper 1, that whenever the thing comes with the religious tussle or the communalism or anything, you have to mention this place of worship act, it's an important. So, there is the, some of the lacuna that we will study under this. After that, we will study why are the nations revising rules for the foreign student, particularly in the case of the Canada, UK, we have seen Germany, this uh, restored nation where we have, uh, uh, the, they are the demand, they are in the demand, we want, Indian want to go there, work there, study there, so, but they are not, they are restricting their entry into their Oh, or their countries. So, we will study under the GS paper 2 international relation. So, we start with this USA strike. So, we see that there was the strike on the US troops. There was the, uh, the death of the three uh, US uh, troops. So, but uh, after that, this is the retaliation from the uh, US and it is in the Al Qaim in the Iraq. Okay. So, this we will see that we will locate well it is, it is uh, in the Iraq. So, look, is it visible? This is the area, Al Qaim, and here this uh, attack has been taken place, and uh, this is the border area of the Iraq and Syria. So, these are the areas that are in the news, Iraq. One important thing you should remember that uh, Iraq has the uh, link with this uh, Persian Gulf. A small opening is there. So, always remember thus uh, uh, that the Iraq touch the Persian Gulf. This is the way to the Otherwise, it is la landlocked, totally landlocked, because here it is the Syria, there it is the Turkey, and in that side it is the Iran. So landlocked, but this is giving the opening. So this is important. Jordan here, the this uh, where the attack was taken place on the American troops. Okay, so you should remember this. So uh, the capital of Jordan is Amman. Amman is here, it is not visible. Okay, so this is the Amman. Okay, let's see, this is the border of Israel, Jordan, here the Syria is there, and there is the Golan Heights here, Syrian area that is being captured by the Israel, and this is the Jordan River that divides this, uh, this from the border as well. This is the Israel, this is the Gaza Strip, okay, West Bank. So this is all about, you should know, Okay, come back again to the news. So, this is all about, you should also know this, what is this axis of resistance. Now, the group that is entering to fight the Israeli from the different border area like the Lebanon, Yemen, Iraq and Syria, they in the combination known as the axis of the resistance. So, please remember that, what is the axis of resistance. Next important news is with respect to this, um, the BJP leader, the LK Advani is given the Bharat that, okay, so he has done a lot of... Uh, a uh, grassroots work as for him or uh, here it has mentioned that he brought the Rath Yatra that helped in the uh, construction of the Ayodhya Ram temple okay so his life is this life is not mine he said that this life is not mine I have done a work when I joined the RSS after that I have work on the ground and there is no mention that what he had done the ground on the ground he had done this Rath Yatra okay in 2015 he got the reward of the Padam Vibhushan and uh, yes, 
our prime minister has mentioned that one of the most well respected statesman not the leader statesman of our times and his contribution in the development of india is monumental okay so this is the observation you can know that uh, the, if you didn't have the, any information about the contribution so please know that there is the contribution okay here it has given that export lay stress on the governor's neutral role in the federal structure. So there is the always the tussle misuse of this governor post. This is always in the dispute from the center, is uh, from the state and center. Center use this uh, post of the governor as the control to control this um, state government if they are the from the opposite side and opposite party and here it, you should know that the misuse of this article 356 and also this misuse is done on the report sent by the governor and uh, this was conceded this article 350, uh, uh, 356 that that is for the president rule it was uh, uh, in the constituent assembly when there was a debate that is going on it was opposed by the many of the leaders who thought that this will uh, this will impact the federal uh, federal structure of the, our constitution and the state so many opposed then in that case when the ambedkar was replying he said that this will be the dead later, uh, later this will be not used and it will be used in a very exceptional case but it it has been the most active, most living uh, Leto because it has been used 120 times and its uh, frequency reduced only after 1947 when as my case came and it's to uh, uh, give that yes uh, you cannot uh, it's brought the guideline for the imposition of the uh, this article 357 uh, 356 is still it is being misused we know that and many a times it's c it keep coming into the news okay Next important news is with respect to yes, where is that is relevant? These are all political. We don't need to cover this. Okay, any relevant? Yes, color, uh, color, uh, This is from the Kerala, and this is the martial art, and uh, it is known as the Kaladi. Kaladi means the battlefield, and Payattu means the training of the martial art. This is the mean of this. Okay, and yes, this is the practice in the art of art of the. Uh, battlefield okay and uh, this originated in 11th and 12th century so remember that this is the martial art this is from the Kerala 11th 12th century so this is all about after that this is the beautiful pictures taken by uh, one of uh, the, this uh, photographer from the uh, this uh, Danish photographer okay and uh, this pattern so this uh, Boards make uh, this pattern, and this is known as the murmuration. Here, the murmuration, and uh, this pattern, this is not known how they mix, but yes, there is a lot of explanation why they made. Uh, they mix for the safety from the predator or the yes, and uh, yes, this design the board can uh, this can be used to coordinate the disaster relief or the fight the cancer. So it could be used if we will uh, this pattern we can learn study but still we don't have the clear cut definition why they make such uh, uh, such uh, swarm. Okay. Uh, under this thousand of boards comes they make a pattern of the wave and such uh, such undulating clouds. Okay. So this is look uh, this looks so beautiful. You can see the pattern. This is like the uh, this is like the wave and some of the musical that uh, tone is going on. Okay, so look. So this is all about. Next important news that we, we will take is this. Why is the fiscal consolidation so important? Okay, so this is with respect to the government expenditure, government revenue. So already we have studied that uh, there has uh, there is the difference between the revenue and uh, expenditure that gives you what is the condition of the government finance so this finance this fiscal consolidation is considered as very important for the healthy financial and economic system of any country so what is this in the context of this this has been mentioned that the government has uh, declared that it will cons it will put its fiscal deficit to the 5.1 percent and uh, it was expected that it should be 5.3 to 5.4 percent okay so but this has been the lower so there has been the surprise in uh, for the 
economic export that why it has been reduced okay so we will study why it has been reduced beside that we should know that there has been the reduction in the this fiscal deficit and that is good for the economy as low as this fiscal deficit for the eco uh, economies there it is good it is it's so that the economy is healthy so what is this fiscal deficit so you should know in the hindi words hindi lines it is said that amdani athanni kharcha rupaya athanni means half of 1 rupees rupaya means 1 rupees and uh, this uh, 1 by 2 rupees is athanni amdani athanni kharcha rupaya so expenditure is this expenditure is this and this is the income okay so for the government it is the the uh, receipt that it's get the revenue in the it's receipts and the expenditure so what is the deficit deficit means this income is less means you are earning less but you are spending much more than your earning so this is not good if for anyone if it is expending more as compared to the income it stick borrow it stick the loans and that's why this is not good same is for the government as well government expenditure is more as compared to the its revenue receipts okay so this is this is here given that this fiscal deficit refers to the uh, revenue when compared to the expenditure and when government expenditure exceeds its revenue government will have to borrow money or the sell its asset okay so same for the you if you have the more uh, more to pay as compared to the income you will also sell your land or anything assets maybe your car or or your any asset to Uh, compensate whatever the in uh, whatever expenditure ex expenditure incurred to you so this is here the m for the government what is the its income its income is the taxes so taxes government tax is the main income so for the government it is around uh, 26 lakh crore and uh, total this revenue that they are expecting to mobilize is the 30 lakh crore and the total expenditure this is 47.66 lakh crore that has been the government budget total budget of this government okay so here the question come what is the difference between this national debt and this fiscal deficit so national debt is the total loan it is not for the one year it has to uh, for this expenditure and revenue is for the one year okay so you could have the previous loan as well now for example if you take loan for taking your home loan home loan and uh, you took 30 lakh rupees 30 lakh rupees and you have to pay it for the 20 years okay so every year this will not reflect but total Debt you have this thirty lakh. Maybe you could give two lakh for the EO. Means by the EMI you are paying twenty thousand per month, and by that you could have been paying two lakh forty thousand per EO. Okay. So it could be reducing, but the total loan or total expenditure, maybe this under expenditure only comes this interest rate, not the overall loan. so expenditure expenditure include only this uh, loan amount that you have to pay but this is your total debt for the country the total debt is very huge as compared to the its uh, uh, interest that is uh, paying every year we saw that in the indian uh, this uh, budget near about 11 lakh 90 thousand was the interest rate that it was paying but it is not the debt the loan is much higher that's why it is paying 12 lakh is it much with the loan could have been the uh, 10 times more than this maybe it could have been the uh, 1 lakh uh, 1 lakh 10 thousand crore 1 lakh 10 okay are you getting na so uh, it could be the very high this is not that much so national debt is higher than the so uh, uh, this this is not count this total 
debt is not counted into the expenditure of every EU. So, this is much higher than what we expect from the this uh, deficit. So, this is all about, uh, this is the difference between national debt and uh, this is the fiscal deficit. Higher the government fiscal uh, deficit as a share of the GDP, likely to lender will be paid back without the trouble. Okay. So, uh, here it is uh, telling that to higher, if there is the higher the fiscal deficit, okay, less likely its lender will paid back. Means, if you have more loan, more debt, it is very difficult to pay out. And beside that, it is further talking about that. This is not considered good for the any of the economy. Okay. Because this fiscal deficit signals to the market the degree of the discipline. Means how much you are disciplined in your expenditure. You are, very, uh, you, you are doing very much expenditure means your discipline is low. And that's why you are not considered good. Same is for the economy. If I am a person, if I have the lot of expenditure and income is very less, if I will go for the any uh, go to the anyone and ask for the loan, they will generally ask that you, you don't have the capacity because you you pay, uh, you ex spend lot of as compared to the your income. Your income is fifty thousand and you spend near about one lakh per year how, uh, per month. How will you uh, give back? So, they will not give, even if they will give, they will charge very high interest rate so that they can own, okay. So, this is the case with the government as well. Whenever the government go to the, and get borrowing from the international market, either the, uh, if this fiscal deficit is very high, it is not considered good for the any of the economy. So, they give higher, uh, they give the loan with the higher interest rate. Here, it has mentioned that, yes, this is not maintained and that's why the borrowing become uh, difficult, okay. Even the International Monetary Fund said that India's public debt could rise to the more than 100% of its GDP. Are you getting the? The loan and the GDP will be the same. And that's is, uh, even the government doesn't agree that. If, uh, it, if anything is not in the favor of the government, government do not accept. If anything is favorable, like if IMF said that, yes, India has done tremendous work in the economy, it could, it could have been highlighted. But when it's said that your loan is going to be 100% of the GDP in the medium term, government didn't agree on that because this is not in the favor. A lower fiscal deficit may help government to, to more easily sell its bond overseas and access cheaper credit. Oh, yesterday we saw that how we sell our bond in the international market. So whenever we have the good fiscal deficit, our reputation is good. We, uh, we saw that there was the uh, different companies who give the credit rating and uh, yes, they give the indices. By that, it reflects that what is your discipline level. So this is also consider that if your fiscal deficit is good and that's why fiscal consolidation is necessary okay here it is talking about the how does government fund its fiscal deficit what is the borrowing mainly borrow money from the bond market and also it take money from the uh, 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 public as well okay so here it has mentioned that the center is expected to uh, borrow this this uh, as much gross amount but uh, now it has reduced because it is expecting that gst collection will be higher for the this eu that's why it think that the we don't need to borrow that much okay you should also remember that uh, this rbi it uh, do not directly uh, purchase the government bond but indirectly it purchase the government bond from the public in the secondary market you should know that what is the primary market what is the secondary market Primary market means I have a company and uh, I have a bond. So I directly go and sell to the common man. Common man will give and give 100 rupees. There will be the 1 lakh bond. So by 100 rupees, I will own near about 1 crore and I will invest in my company. Okay. So there are 100 rupees bond. 20 bond I will sell to someone, 30 bond to someone else, 50 bond to someone else. There will be a lot of people. Okay, so directly they will purchase from me. After they purchase, I will buy back one year back. But in between, there is the, uh, this uh, selling and purchasing is between themselves. They purchase with the each other, or the, they sell with the each other and outside other people who have not included. So this is done in the secondary market. Secondary market. Why they sell? Because they have purchased the bond to get the benefit in the between, maybe they are 
facing some exigency. Maybe there could be the health issue in his family. He want money instead of a bond. Like the uh, many a family keep the gold, but whenever there is the emergency condition, they sell the gold and they use it. The same is the bond. So it is done in the secondary market. So from the secondary market, it is RBI also. RBI also purchased this bond. Okay, but directly not from the, this government. Okay, so this is the difference. You should remember that. Uh, uh, yeah, here it has given. Okay, and when this RBI purchase this bond, this give money, and this, uh, this, uh, this RBI purchase this bond through the open market operation. This is also known as the open market operation. is related to the RBI purchasing the bond and giving money to the when it's buy the bond, it will give the money, and if the money will enter into the market it will have the inflation effect inflation is caught because if people will have the more money think people are have the less money because they have the bond by the bond they cannot go with the bond and purchase the tomato or the potato or the their bike they have to get the money if they have more money there is the tendency that people buy more and more thing and that's why inflation if there is the only 10 product there is the 10 pain and there is the less money in the market so less people will come to purchase this uh, this pain so i will not take higher price of this pain but if i will know that there are 100 people coming and i have 10 pain so i will increase the value if there is 10 pain and only five people are there to buy i will reduce the cost of this pain that's why there is the inflation and there is the uh, deflation inflation in the case of when the price increases when the people have the more money they will try to buy something it is the nature of the man okay government bond are generally considered as a risk free because we know that government has the machine and government has the rbi and they have the machine to put, uh, the, uh, uh, print the money and they know that we know that yes we will get the money if there is the any condition in all condition whatever the condition they have the machine they will give them money we know that but if they will give some other company or me or you they will think that i don't trust this person maybe he has the company now but the company can fail but where he get the money he don't have that machine as the government has and that's why government bond is considered risk free so government generally uh, not find hard to borrow the money okay but yes the thing is that when the discipline is not shown from the government okay so its value decrease and in international market it's uh, the uh, interest rate on these bonds or any other thing is increased okay and this leading to the higher uh, borrowing cost for the government as well if we know that generally if you know that yes government is doing very well so we have the more uh, trust on the government yes government do and uh, they will give the money but in the case if they go in the higher market and uh, uh, foreign market and if they ask and if they're uh, for the money and loan borrowing and if they don't have the better fiscal condition so people in the foreign will think that this country is not doing well in its economy they will increase the uh, the, the uh, they will they will ask the higher interest on or the uh, this uh, gap for the uh, benefit for the, this bond only then they will purchase so that's why the borrowing cost will increase i mean to that if it is going to in international market for this uh, to borrow with this bond okay and they will go they will say that only after one year i will give 110 rupees give me 100 rupees today after one people will not take the risk but if he, it have to attract more people to buy this bond they have to tell that i will give 120 130 only then the people will come because the, with the discipline the demand for this uh, bond is higher okay so here it has given that uh, during the this uh, pandemic this uh, uh, this rate uh, it has given the example of uh, this uh, central government of uh, US and uh, during the uh, pandemic there was the zero and after that it increased and this make more expensive for the government to borrow the money okay it means that here it is telling that during the pandemic the interest rate was decreased so that the money can avail the eg money from the banks and if the in uh, the the central bank rbi increase its interest rate so let me 
bring the basics what generally happens this is rbi this is rbi this directly don't give money people cannot directly uh, uh, borrow the money from rbi who can borrow banks banks comes and they borrow okay banks comes and they borrow money okay these are the banks and uh, from the banks we people we people borrow the money this is the case if it has it lending rate is high so banks will not borrow because banks know that if i will take on the higher interest rate my interest will be uh, rate will be also high so i will borrow on the higher interest rate to the people people will not borrow if people have to give uh, for the 100 rupees 120 rupees after one year they think that i will not able to mobilize that much money but if it is reduced so banks interest rate also reduced so people will think i can pay if for the 100 i have to pay just 100 5 rupees i can pay back easily so people will borrow more and more and if the people will borrow more and more the expenditure in the economy will be more and same manner the people will go and buy this uh, uh, bond from the bank as well okay so this imp the, the, it has uh, explained that how it impacts okay so there it is all this is all about we have already explained okay so here where the government is expecting its uh, mobilization of this money so that they can pay for whatever the deficit is there they are expecting that it is from the tax collection there will be the rise of 11 percent that's why and second thing they think that the, there will be the reduction in the fertilizer subsidy and that's why there will be the uh, we can save the money we can reduce this uh, physical deficit and they have also think that the food subsidy they are going to decrease and that's why there will be the more money okay so um, here it has mentioned in the last line tax can act as a damper on the economic activity if the government is going to increase the tax for the mobilization of the money for this fiscal deficit it is not good for the economy if the taxes is high people will have the less money to invest in its uh, business for example if this is my company and i am earning thousand rupees okay and government ask for the 100 rupees for the tax okay so remaining i will have the 900 rupees in 900 rupees maybe for the 500 i will uh, have the expenditure my living uh, different need of me and 400 i will invest again into the this eco uh, this uh, company i can purchase one more machine and there will be the increase in the production more job more people can work more job more production okay all this thing but if the government increase this tax to the 400 so i will have only 600 rupees i will expend 100 500 i will have only 100 rupees to invest again so this is this decreases so less employment less other activities in economy so this is all about that's why it is uh, it has said that the tax can act as a damper of the economic activity so this is all about uh, we have completed this fiscal deficit what is it how it's impact the government what should be the level how the discipline should be there what is the impact in international market if government go to borrow so this is all about next important news we will take with this uh, respect to the, this uh, gyan vapi uh, banarsi and mathura mask there is the, again the dispute this is very serious matter how this is going to be uh, taken by the judiciary and government this is a very very crucial thing and this is very sensitive thing okay for uh, no whole nation okay so the main thing that we are talking about the place of worship act 1991 this acts talk about that we cannot convert if there is the any mosque or any temple or any church if it is it was before the 15 august 1947 whatever the history of this uh, uh, mosque or the this temple or this church or anything is to whatever the history how they were made it doesn't matter whatever the character is there means if it is the mosque temple anything it will remain the same without going to the historical fact what was happened so they cannot convert it from the mosque to temple temple to mosque or the church church to the stoop anything okay whatever the character that will remain but if this is case so so why we are asking for this uh, going for this gyanvapi and uh, this mathuda mask and asking for the land 
So this has explained that this act has some of the ex ex uh, expect, uh, exceptions, and that's why this is coming. This act has the exception that yes, we cannot to convert this one to the other. But there is the some exception. This talk about that mm. this act came into 1991. Okay, and this act will not apply to the any ancient and historical monuments. First thing is that. And as they have covered, they are covered under the Ancient Monuments and Archaeological Site Remains Act, 1958. One is this, but this has nothing to do with this two case. This is not uh, asking uh, to bring this change with this. Second thing is that it will also not apply to the any suit that has been finally settled and disposed of, or any dispute that has already been settled by the parties before 1991 Act. 1991 Act came into the 1990 Act. If there there has been any settlement before 1991, so on that particular area, it will not apply. Okay, so here this. Exception is uh, working in case of this uh, Mathura mask, Sahi Idgah mask. Okay, here the ma matter is that in this case there was the land diversion from the temple. The name of this temple is the Sri Krishna J uh, Janmasthan Seva. Okay, so this temple gives some amount of its land to the Sahi Idgah. This is just adjacent to the this temple. Look here. It has. This is the temple. Uh, this is the temple. This is the Sikhs Jan Asthan Seva. This is the mosque, Sahi Idgah Mosque, and some of the land it has given by the this uh, agreement between these two. Okay. So there was the decree. It was uh, declared in 1957. Okay. So here it is talking about that this uh, diversion of land was due to the fraudulent. And uh, fraudulent transfer of uh, uh, fraudulent. Uh, this uh, there was the forged paper that shows that whatever the uh, dispute was that. So that's why they are asking that we are not talking to convert because as if there is any agreement or the settled dispute anything, so it will be not it will not come un come under the place of what's it what's So now we can question here. Because this, we are not questioning. We are not asking for the conversion. We are asking for the this transfer was for fraudulent. All that, and that's why give whole mask to me. Okay. So this is the case here. What is the case with this uh, Gyan Vapi? Gyan Vapi, they are uh, in the court. They are uh, they are not asking to give the land. What they are asking, the case is with respect to the. Please let us allow to. Uh, worship in, into the temple. Okay, so they have a right to worship. They are asking that they are asking to the worship, and uh, we want to worship this Sri Sringar Gauri Ganesh Hanuman and other visible and invisible deities. Okay, and the thing is that the issue with this act is that this issue doesn't clearly define what is the religious character. So they are asking that if you don't have the clear definition, so to know the uh, clear uh, uh, whether the character is the of the mosque or the temple or the church or anything, we need some discovery, and that's why the court allowed this archaeological survey of India to go and conduct the survey to know the character. Okay, only well, then we can decide now. So this is the this is the flaw in this act, and that's why they are asking. Okay, so there is the claim. Uh, the history of this uh, Gyan Vapi is that this temple was demolished on the order of the Emperor Aurangzeb in the 16 uh, 1669. Okay, and even this uh, archaeological survey has uh, uh, confirmed that yes, it was um, uh, destructed, and yes, there was the temple that existed there, and the court has allowed to conduct the. worship of this okay so this is all about you must have been thinking that what was the reason behind this uh, ayodhya to given for the temple the here it was excluded due to because the case was given uh, the, the case with respect to ayodhya was uh, already in the court before the 1947 and that's why it was excluded from the uh, this uh, place of worship act 
this place of worship act was brought into the 1999 uh, 1991 because uh, there was the, this Ram Janabhumi was so much high and at that particular time there was case with respect to the, this Mathura and this uh, uh, Banatsi as well and that's why not the Banat uh, yeah Banatsi there was yes case was there so this was the reason for that so I hope there is the clarity with respect to this Kyan uh, and Mathura. What is going on? There was the mask. There was the there was the land dispute in the Mathura, and with respect to this uh, mask, they are talking about yes, there was already uh, there was already uh, temple and temple was destroyed, and that's why give it to me. And uh, what is the name of this uh, uh, temple before uh, that was destructed? Here given it was the Visveswad temple okay and the deity's name or the Visveswar. okay so th that's why they are asking for there so by any way this is not good for the a country where whenever there is the dispute it should be solved in a such a manner that both parties should get some benefit it is not the one is going to lose one is going to win and this is not good okay here it has given that uh, there has been the there has been the revision with respect to the rules in the foreign countries such as the Canada, UK, Germany with respect to the foreign student, particularly the Indian student going there. And we have seen that there is the restriction. Uh, maybe it could be the our tussle that is going with the Canada. There is the Khalistan movement in the Canada. And uh, yes, there is the many such tussle between that. We are accusing Canada government that why you are not taking action. Canadian government is uh, asking that yes, we give, we provide freedom of speech to the, our citizens. We do not uh, uh, do not curve this. And this is uh, and India is still uh, t talking about no. This is the internal matter of India. You should take action. So this tussle was going on there was the case of the killing of the some of the Khalistani leaders, Canada accused that it was the India that plotted all this thing, conspiracy. So this is going on and that's why we saw that there is the revision in the Canada. So what, uh, what has been revised? This guarantee investment certificate. Whenever the people, whenever the student go to the Canada, they have to get the guarantee investment uh, certificate and the amount of this was the 10 ten thousand dollar but now it has increased to the twenty thousand six hundred thirty five means uh, this ten thousand dollar was equal to the six lakh fifteen thousand but after the revision it has become the twelve lakh seventy thousand so you know that whenever you you are being asked more money you do not go to buy any of the services if people have the capacity maybe there if it was the cheaper maybe if there is the rice that is the 50 kg so more people can afford if you will increase 100 rupees so less people can afford and you know this six lakhs is lot of people generally take the date and go to the foreign or uh, this foreign nation for their study and work so uh, this is the intentionally increased okay so yes beside that we have seen that such increase in the this uh, germany and australia as well okay and we have seen that yes in the germany this increase was of the euros and uh, yes earlier it was 10000 euro now it is 11000 but we see that in the germany and uh, this uh, australia it is just 10 percent but in canada it has twice so in the Canada, it was the uh, it is the intentionally to restrict the Indian student there. Besides that, we have also seen that there has uh, there has been the change in the uh, this spouse visa. Okay, so whenever the student go to the this uh, this nations, so there is the visa that is provided to his or her spouse so that they can live and they can work as well now this has changed they they cannot work they can only leave they they will not have a work permit so they are going to restrict here as well means it will increase the burden if i have my spouse in the foreign and if she is earning or he is earning so it is better for me it, it will be easier com uh, for me to sustain the life but i will reduce that so it will be it will be double burden so their her expenditure will not able to fulfill mine expenditure will also increase so this is all about so here it has mentioned that while the canada aims to the uh, rein this diploma mills as well and uh, they want to increase in the master students means they want that 
on the just retention of the study they just come and they increase the pressure on the resources so that's why they want some quality education and uh, yes this uh, diploma mills is mentioned with respect to the some of the fraudulent certificate courses that is going on that is the impacting and harassing the student that is going from here so this is all about uh, with respect to this news so we have concluded all the relevant area of the today's newspaper and here we will conclude the session thank you for joining the session all the best jai hind